everyone, welcome to another episode of Tech Garage. Today we're going to be looking at this Hewlett Packard printer here that we picked up at Best Buy. And uh, we're just going to go through all the steps and show you how to get your printer set up and working. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take off the outer protective plastic. Got that nice shiny finish. Next up we're going to detach the portable scanner. And you just do this by flipping it up and you can see the detach points right here and here. That just detach. Make sure to save these clips, that makes it so you can reattach it. And uh, so this is your portable scanner and we can just put this back on. So it attaches like that. And we'll just set this aside for now. So that's step one. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to test out the SD card reader. And uh, we're going to take our little SD card and we're going to uh, insert it in the SD reader and uh, make sure that that's working properly. And remember, before we start working, make sure to put your eye protection on. And uh, now we're ready to get to work. So as you can see right here, this is our uh, SD XDMS slash Duo uh, SD card reader. And uh, here's our SD card. So we're just going to go ahead and insert this in here. I'm having a little bit of trouble getting this in here, so I'm just going to, uh, you want to hand me the hammer? Thank you. We're just going to give us a little bit of love taps, just to, you know, get it in there. And, uh, yeah, that's reading fine. So, uh, yeah, here we go. And, uh, hopefully our menu is going to tell us, you know, exactly what we need. Probably some paper and ink. Oh yeah, and there's an error code. So uh, yeah, we're gonna have to take care of that. That probably means that we need some paper and ink in there. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that. All right, so right now we're just gonna insert the paper. And uh, this is gonna be the paper feeding mechanism right here. So we're gonna go ahead and load the paper up right in here. So we just came back from the store and we picked up some paper. So we're gonna go ahead and put the paper in. Make sure it's all like nice and lined up in there. And then we're just gonna take the uh, paper tray. And we're just gonna gently settle it right in there. And we're ready to move on. So in order to ensure that the ink goes on the paper smoothly and evenly, we're going to align the printer heads. And uh, to do this, we're gonna use an Ingersoll Rand 2135 Ti. Now that the uh, print headers are aligned, we're going to power the printer back up and make sure that that error code has gone away. So the error code is still persistent, uh, so we think it's a paper jam. So I'm going to go grab some specialty tools to get rid of this paper jam. In addition to the paper jam in the printer, there's also a strange hum coming from the back of it. So we had a little bit of trouble, uh, printer caught on fire, um, but the paper jam still exists so uh, we're going to try to figure out a way to uh, unclog that paper jam. I think we'll be able to fix this later, it's just cosmetic damage. So to clear this paper jam we're just going to uh, make an incision in the side of this printer right here. All right, now we're just gonna pop this panel off. All right. Uh, yeah, that's, a, that's gonna give us a nice view of what's going on in here. Yeah, just rooting around in here. Oh. Yeah, I think I found it. And there's your paper jam. Yeah. That's a bummer, but that's not too hard to replace. So the next thing we wanna do is uh, fill up the ink cartridges. And, uh, you know, this printer came with a, uh, an ink cartridge refiller tool, but it doesn't quite fit. So we're going to have to uh, modify this printer in a specific way just so that we can fill up these ink cartridges. So we're just going to pick a spot to get started. Oh, man. Wow. We've really made a mess of this. Well, uh... 
Once we clear all this material out of the way, it'll actually make it a little bit easier to get through this top lid right here. All right, so we're gonna pick our spot right here. We're just gonna drill through. All right, now we're just gonna widen out the hole with a little bit bigger drill bit. This should do the trick. Just like that. And now we're gonna grab the uh, paint refiller tool and insert it right into our hole and we're ready to fill up the ink cartridges. So we're gonna be filling up these ink cartridges with a high capacity uh, Kion Scion or whatever, you, however you call that. And uh, yeah, like I said, HP, you know, they're renowned for having extremely high capacity ink cartridges. Um, so this ink is probably gonna last us a couple years at least. And there we go, just gonna let that soak down in there. Really let it just fill up that ink cartridge. And uh, there you go. That's top the tank off there uh, we're, we're we're good to go we're ready to print and uh, yeah we are fully operational so this is a uh, mobile printer and uh, one of the biggest features is that you can uh, take the screen with you uh, to work and see that your documents are printing so we're just gonna take that off right there and uh, you know make sure to reattach these wires um, when you take the printer you know you take this device back home uh, but now you can take with take this piece right with you in your pocket and uh, check if your documents or photos are printing right from work. So there you have it. Today we uh, set up this HP printer. Uh, and all we're going to do now is just reattach these parts we took off during the assembly process. Put that on there like that. Lock those into place and then just replace this uh, print tray. And there you go, your uh, new printer's all set up and ready to go. This is Brendan with Tech Garage wishing you the best with your new HP printer.